So, I'm going to give you a little video. It's kind of a fail of a design I did. It's a great idea, but it has issues. And what it is, is, and I actually don't have it anymore because I gave it away. <laughs> um, it's a spooler, it's a spool winder for uh, samples. Um, I thought it would be cool, more of a joke, that you could take your samples from particularly from like the alien box or um, um, what's the other one? Maker box. Um, anyways, the sample boxes. And you could 3D print a little spool and it's got a drill driver on it. <laughs> and you could slowly, I mean sure you can't just pull the trigger and wind it up, but you could wind them up. Well, there's issues. And it doesn't really work so well. But Let's watch the video. I'm not even going to get into it a whole lot. Let's just watch the video and you can get a good laugh. Um, and, and see how it doesn't really work. It's the crap out of me right here. Why is it doing that? I mean, why? <laughs> we know why. It's just how to prevent it. This is what's terrible about freaking samples. I mean, where? How did it get so knotted up? Okay, I just untangled it and it, it's tangled up already. How is that possible? That's why I hate samples. I think if you took them right out of the bag and you did it right away, it would work better.
So, there you have it. Um, as you can see, it just makes a tangled mess, just like if you had to film it straight into the printer. So, there's probably a way to do it, but it was kind of fun. There is two of them. I did make a, a bigger one. That's the smaller of the two. The bigger one has a better mounting system for the drill. It also has an actual snap-on. The little one you glue it together, I haven't designed it to make a snap-on yet. It might. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> the big one does snap on the end, so you could still use the spool as a sample spool holder. You just take the sample and slide it on. The center core is set to what I believe both of the Alien 3D and the Maker Box are close enough to the center core of the of the samples where you should be able to pull the end off, slide them on, snap the end off, snap the end on and slide it onto a unit so it might still help. Anyway, it was fun anyways, something to do. So hope you enjoyed it. I'll uh, link up the files and upload them to Thingiverse and my mini factory and you can download them if you really want to try. Have fun. See ya.